I'm Burning Dog Face, and this is the first episode of Let's Play the Desmond Debacle, the first of the two DLC packages for Quantum Conundrum, which I finished yesterday. Oh boy, I had kind of a mixed history with uh, DLC in the past. Uh, the first one I tried for Mafia 2, Joe's Adventures, didn't really work out so well because the storyline was extremely minimal and the gameplay tried to mix things up with silly, unreasonable challenges. But I really liked the, uh, the two DLC packages I got with uh, Alan Wake, The Signal and The Writer, which were basically more of everything that made the game good except concentrated. I should mention one thing here. Uh, I haven't actually tried, uh, you know, actually playing through either of these packages, so I don't know whether it's actually going to have more story, you know, more John Delancey voiceover, or if it's just going to be like that still alive package they put out for the original Portal, that was just a new collection of puzzle chambers without any uh, voiceover from Gladys. I hope it's the former. But, uh, let's find out what we can find out, and begin the Desmond debacle. You'll never stop at one. A bird in the hand. Thanks, Dolly. Okay. No context or whatever is going on here. Ah, there we go. This is the biggest room I've seen yet in this game. Oh, hey. No idea how that worked. Where is the... I kind of need that to escape. Okay. It's a Desmond platform. You put a drinking bird on it. Wow, I actually have to lean into... Is that a Desmond way over there? No, I think that's another button. Okay, what do you do? It makes the lights down there flicker. Great. Well, lacking any other ideas, let's try to get over there. that? 
to town. Okay. That's good, I don't have to stress out so much about, you know, losing the safe. Okay. Double crap. Well, now I'm up here. What's in here? If that's the exit, what the hell's down there? No, no, that makes no sense. The exit would have uh, one of those big gear doors on it, right? I don't know. Let's take a look. This is the first room, after all. Wouldn't be that hard to get back to if I wanted to. I heard that. Yeah, not hearing the dulcet tones of, uh, Professor Quadrangle. Dicks! Well, that's clearly no good. Also, not very helpful. Another possibility has occurred to me. Damn it, Cage! The other possibility that occurs to me is that these are challenge maps.
you know, for the kind of people who thought the uh, main game was too easy. Actually, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be doing. Yeah, this is madness. That, ladies and gentlemen, is what we call luck. Um... No, really, I don't know what I'm supposed to be doing here. I'll save the... Ooh! Uh-huh. No! I'm genuinely confused now. Oh man. Those aren't even hooked up to anything. Was I supposed to be going somewhere in there? Yeah, this is a debacle, alright. I feel even more like an idiot than I normally do. Hey! Uh, hey, Desmonds. I'm gonna borrow this. I hope you don't mind. Uh! Oh, good. Fuck. No! Ah! You've got to be kidding me. Right. Okay. what we call less luck. Oh, hey! Damn it. Crap! Do they stop there? Yes, they do.
hell do I do this? Uh, I can't get both of them over there. Oh, great. Thanks for that. Man alive, this is... Am I unusually stupid today, or is something else going on? Wrong one. That was clever, at least. Footstool for uh. Oh, man. Am I extra stupid today, or is this much harder than any of the puzzles they did before? Balls. Oh, that didn't work again. Desmond. That didn't work. don't know what to do. I don't know why it isn't working. Oh. 
If I did that right, then shouldn't move again. Oh boy, Desmond. Oh god, the instant I turn on anti gravity. It will trigger the lasers again. That's why. Ah, oh, screw it. I'm Burning Dog Face. And this has been the first extremely confusing episode of Let's Play the Desmond Debacle. I'm gonna take some time to myself to figure out whether I want to continue with this or not, because, uh, I'm not doing so hot so far. I guess I'll see you next time, then. Later.